Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Lisa Salvatore of lisasalvatore.com. For those of you that have been here before, thank you for coming back. And for those of you who have not been here before, thank you for stopping by. I put out monthly readings for the general collective for each sign of the zodiac. Please be sure to listen to your sun, moon, and or rising sign if you do know those other placements because sometimes people tend to resonate with their other planetary placements more so if not equally as much as their sun sign depending on what's also going on with the current astrology of the universe. Um, if you'd like to know more about why I say to listen to the rising and the moon, I actually recorded a video talking briefly about why I suggest you listen to those other placements. So if you would like to see more about that, just click below. It's the, I believe it's the last video that I posted. Um, so these readings are going to be for the general collective for the month of April 2020. Please keep in mind that these are for a large audience, so take what resonates with you and throw away what doesn't. A lot of this will be predictive, so when you listen to it is when you're meant to listen to it. I realize all of us are going through some similar emotions and uh, situations right now, so I really took my time, as I always do, but more so this month, to make sure I was 100% in the right headspace and centered and completely meditated and I've prayed over these cards. I've already chosen the cards. I have not looked at them yet, so I will be looking at them with you as we go on into each reading. I wish everybody good health and happiness um, for better days to come. And please be sure to subscribe by tapping the bell icon to be notified of new videos and readings and all of that good stuff as it comes out. And let's get started. Hey Leo, this is your April 2020 reading. This is for Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and or Leo Rising. If you'd like to know why I always suggest listening to your other placements as well, please go to my other video that I recorded, which is I think right underneath this one if you're more interested. It does talk about why I suggest listening to your other placements. Um, but anyway, this is going to be for Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and or Leo Rising for the month of April. Please keep in mind that these are for the general collective, so they may or may not resonate with everybody. But like I always say, take what resonates with you and throw away what does not. I have not looked at the cards yet. I've just shuffled and prepared everything, and I am looking at them for the first time now. I'm using the Radiant Wise traditional tarot deck, the my Italian Tarocci tarot deck, also my Druid Animal Oracle deck, and my Spirit Messages by John Holland. All right, so let's just get started. This is for Leo Sun, Moon, Rising for the month of April. Okay. Okay, so first off, what comes through right away is that a lot has been coming through to the Leos um, in their like dream state, I feel. Like the intuitive impressions are really coming in. I feel like a lot of you might even have been or are studying esoteric, the esoteric workings, um, more things on the metaphysical and spirituality and energy, science, things like that. So there's definitely this element of impressions that you're picking up on because you have two really intuitive cards right here. So this is all about like um, tapping into the otherworldly side of life. Um, maybe you're even taking classes, I feel. Some of you could be taking classes or speaking to like a counselor or a mentor or someone that's helping you to tap in to your intuitive reserves. But it does feel like for a lot of you watching that that's the case here. It could even be, I'm picking up like the, with the Bible too for some of you, like you could be reading the Bible or like looking for certain passages in the Bible to help get you through this time right now, which is chaotic for everybody, right? But yeah, there's something about connecting spiritually more and that could be, you know, through any avenue. It doesn't have to be anything specific, but I am picking up like on the esoteric. I'm also picking up on the Bible. So there's many different ways and it could be different for, you know, for you, you apply it as you see fit. But there's just this sense of like really tapping into that. And I, again, I feel like a lot of you have been dreaming, like your dreams have been much more colorful um, and 
maybe don't make sense, but you're like waking up feeling like they did. So just make sure, I always suggest keeping dream journals anyway, but yeah, write them down, jot them down, and uh, I'm sure that there are messages in there that are pretty accurate for you if you think about it. But yeah, I feel like for a lot of you that is the case, and if that's not the case yet, it's likely going to be for the month of April. I also get this sense here that, okay, so your card just your card came out here, Leo. So La Forza, which is an Italian strength, and that's your card. This is your tarot card for Leo. And it's also number 11, which is the master number. So in this deck. So I feel like a lot of you are in this place right now where you feel like you're stuck, but you're actually not. That's the interesting thing. It feels like you're not stuck. It's just that what I'm hearing literally is like you have to wait to strike until the iron is hot, if that makes sense. And if you look at the strength card, she is stepping on the lion and kind of coercing his mouth open while he's trying to claw at her. And so I feel like for a lot of you, the time is not right yet. I don't know why, but that's what I'm getting. Like, time is not right yet. The right opportunity will present itself. And for some of you, this feels like it could be due to financial uh, circumstances why the time is not right or also because you haven't gotten all the facts yet so you can't you can't make you can't move forward just yet and I am also hearing that the truth shall set you free so I don't know if some of you need to speak the truth or you're waiting to hear the truth but either way it's not the right time I just want to say that so I'm also getting such like a such a intuitive and spiritual um, tied to this reading so it almost feels like you have to trust that like you need to trust that your intuition will guide you correctly when the time is right to act because right now I just feel like isn't April's not an action month for you it's more of like wait and see wait 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 until you have the information that you need or until the right opportunity presents itself if you already have the information have to wait until the right opportunity presents itself and then you can act that's what i feel so through quiet force and strength you will get the result through oh my gosh i can't speak you will get the desired results but you have to wait there's something about waiting that i keep picking up on and i do feel like a lot of you know this deep down because again i'm getting the sense of like you already know but it's about opportunity it's about the right opportunity from the animal druid oracle deck you have the bear the bear is like what do bears do bears hibernate right bears come out when they're ready and again you have like i get keep feeling like this attack vibe i don't know if that's you or someone else but it almost feels like um like the time is not right yet but you'll know when it is but i'm gonna read what the bear says here i don't normally read from the book but with certain cards i like to do that because i don't use them all that often and you know, I don't know. I'm not an animal expert, so let's be real. I'm going to read to you what the bear means, okay? Primal power, sovereign, I can't say that word, sovereign, sovereignty, excuse me, sovereignty, intuition married with instinct. Wow. Okay, so see how that all ties in here, right? The bear connects you with the very deepest of your ancestral roots. Here at this level, you are in touch with the primal mother. The bear goddess, Artio, who will defend you fiercely from all danger. You are connected also with the bear god, Arteos, the mighty warrior, Arthur, the guiding pole star of the great bear. Your intuition will never fail you if you will listen to it in the still darkness of the night. Working with the bear gives you the opportunity to become a spiritual warrior like Arthur. You can find the way to come into your power by marrying your strength with your intuition. Integrating your primal power with your intuition means, un, excuse me, means uniting your star power with your animal power, and both are symbolized by art, the bear. Wow, that's intense. Okay, so that's basically just confirming what we said. You have all the cards of intuition here: the high priestess, right, intuition; the king of cups, intuitive; opportunity. Then you've got the strength, the force, the intuition, the power. I said, keep a dream journal, your dreams. The bear just ties that all in. Okay, so. Then your final card is from the Spirit Messages of, by John Holland, and that's Caregiver. We are with you, and Spirit has its own way of recognizing the care and the love you provide to others, especially at the end of their lives, just as you received care and love at the start of your life. Caregivers often focus all their attention on their loved ones and often neglect their own concerns and well-being in the process. So this could go in two different ways. 
and there's probably a split here to whoever's listening or watching. So on one hand, I feel like literally some of you could be caring for your parents right now and putting your own needs on the back burner because you feel like that's the right thing to do, but yet you're not being rewarded for that. And you need to know that spirit sees everything, so you will be when the time has come and when the time is right. Now, for some of you, for others of you, it could be that you've been in a situation where you've had to be a caregiver or you've had to you or you feel like you've just given and given and given and that your lights kind of gone out and so now you need to take care of yourself and honor your own strength and your own intuition and just trust what needs to be done to see your way forward because I feel like for a lot of you you have not been taking care of yourself and some of you may even literally have something going on with your heart like physically like jumping or, or pulsing or palpitating um it's really your anxiety that's doing it. But again, just know that when the time is right, things will shift for you and you just have to trust your intuition. And if, like I said in the beginning, there's something here about um, relying on your faith right now, that that's gonna carry you through. And it has and it will, so just trust that, okay? And you do have people also in the spirit world that are looking out for you. It's, it's, you may even have been connecting to them yourself or feeling it or dreaming about them, but anyway. It's all here. So, yeah, I feel like April will be a month for you of intuitive discovery and um, assessing things before you move forward. Take good care of yourselves. I will be back for you for your May readings, Leo. Have a good month. Bye. Bye.